and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is all about supplements. So I just wanted to speak to you all about what supplements I take, why I take them, when I take them, um, and just the different questions that I get asked about supplements uh, because it is quite a big topic in the health and fitness industry. It's something I get asked about a lot. Um, I get a lot of questions through my Instagram about what um, I'm taking, why I'm taking it, what is it doing to assist my performance. Um, so I just wanted to touch base and just do a really quick video on, I'm only going to do the simple supplements today. I'll probably do um, a part two just because I do take a lot of supplements and these other ones are more for my health and gut. And that's something I think I'll go into um, when I speak more about um, my history with my gut health. I just wanted to start off by saying that supplements are exactly that. They are supplementing uh, your diet. It should just be in conjunction with a good nutrition and training program, uh, especially if you're after results. So uh, I get a lot of people asking about fat burners, about these fat loss pills, um, and I just am a strong believer that you need to focus on what is important, which is strength training, a calorie deficit if you're after fat loss, a surplus if you are looking to put on some muscle, and a good structured training program to ensure results. So when it comes to supplements, like I was saying, it's no magic pills, nothing's going to work like that. You can't just start taking protein shakes and not be training and you just be building all this amazing muscle. You really, really need to look at your training and nutrition first. Once those two are on point, then I would recommend uh, supplementing with some of these supplements that can really assist take you to the next level. So I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to tell you what I take, why I take it, um, and when I take it as well. So first things first, and it's probably the most common one, and that would be protein powder. So first of all, you'd always get most of your protein through your diet. So this is anything like your lean proteins, like your chicken, your turkey, your fish, um, steak, you know, anything like that. Often it is difficult to get your whole protein intake in, especially for vegans as well. Um, and people will turn to your protein supplements for convenience and also because it's a fast acting um, protein where with food um, it can actually take a little bit longer to digest and for your body to actually use um, those protein sources. So the reason why uh, most people will get a protein and they will have it post-workout is because when you go to the gym, um, you're actually, when you're working out, you're actually breaking down your muscle tissue and then as soon as you finish your body into adaptation and recovery mode, so it's trying to use um, all of its sources to then recover and build your muscle. That's how you actually get bigger muscles. So you're constantly tearing it down and building it up. So people have a protein shake post-workout is because it is fast acting. Um, generally a post-workout meal will consist of proteins and carbs um, and that is to assist muscle recovery so that the protein can go straight into your body, be easily digested and absorbed and go straight to assisting with that recovery. The protein that I take is this Hydroxyburn Lean 5 by Body Science. This is my baby because it helps me get through my diet. Like I could not live without this. Be able to have this is like a game changer. I put it in my oats of a morning. Um, so I just have my gluten-free oats, water, and I mix this in. And it tastes so good. It, and I'm one of those people who I don't necessarily like the taste of protein. The aftertaste is kind of gross to me. So anything that I can like mix into my diet um, is really going to assist. It is a holy grail. I have chocolate and salted caramel because if I have sweet cravings, this bad boy curbs it. And I feel like I've had something delicious. And you can get really creative with protein powder. Um, this one mixes really, really well into your oats and I find with baking and stuff like that, it's really good. So I just, I think protein comes down to at this day and age, personal preference. Like there's so many brands out there. Um, there's so many good brands out there. Um, and it really depends on your goals. Also your lifestyle, if you're vegan, um, vegetarian, or if you're lactose intolerant, 
so many different things. The next thing I want to speak to you about is the BCAAs. So BCAAs are branched chain amino acids um, and generally they make up four aminos um, and the four aminos are your building blocks to protein. Um, so what that is really going to assist you with is to protein synthesis, so encouraging muscle growth. Um, also to maintain muscle mass, so it's going to stop the breakdown of protein as well as it's got good electrolytes in it for hydration. The one that I take is Extend. Um, I also do use EHP Labs Beyond BCAAs. So this is just the Extend. I use the watermelon flavor because it's not too sweet. Um, they are all really, really sweet, I find. Um, and I will use this uh, in a shaker in some water as I work out. Also, if I'm working out in the morning on an empty stomach, I will definitely uh, have this um, during my workout and also just before because if you think about it, if you have just woken up and you go straight to the gym without um, eating or anything before you work out, you've just been fasting for the last eight hours, your body might not have enough uh, food in your body to be able to fuel your workout, then uh, your body might start breaking down muscle tissue to use uh, the aminos as energy. It's not what you want. So that's why you've got your Extend BCAAs, um, which will automatically have those aminos in your body ready to be used as energy. So that's kind of the science behind that one. Um, you can also take it, it's really good when dieting, so when you're in a deficit. Um, and it can also help with your sweet cravings as well because they are quite sweet. Um, the next one I wanted to speak to you about is glutamine. And glutamine is... Um, one that I take every single day. You might have seen in my morning routine on my Instagram. So L-glutamine is the most used amino acid in the body uh, by large amounts. So you do already have it in your body, but it is used so widely. That's why it has a range of different benefits. And the reason why I use it is it assists in recovery. So not only muscle recovery and will assist with your fat loss, but it will also, um, it assists with the recovery of your intestines and your gut. And that is the main reason why I personally take it. So the one that I use is um, Glutamine by EHP Labs. So this is it, it's just a white powder form. And I take that first thing in the morning, I'll take a scoop. Um, on an empty stomach and I find that that is what really helps um, my digestion and my skin and my bloating throughout the day um, and I notice a massive difference when I don't take this. Um, it's also used really really well post-workout in your post-workout shake. Um, some products already have it in it so again um, that's something to look out for but I always add this in and this is something I really started doing when I started prepping for my competition to really assist in my muscle recovery. Um, recovery is so important especially to achieving your goals and I think that's something I learned the hard way. I used to just train, 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 I didn't really care about recovery and you just run yourself into the ground and you start having heaps of um, health issues and you just your results just um, come to a standstill also. That one's probably one of my top ones that I would recommend. One that, and the probably most common question I get asked about is fat burners. People somehow seem to think, probably because of the name, that fat burners, um, once you start taking them, you're just gonna lose fat. And that is not the case. You need to be, if you wanna lose fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit. So it all comes back to a good training and nutrition program and then you can use your fat burner uh, to assist you. And I do find that they work. Um, and the most common one is actually natural fat burner and that one is called L-carnitine, created in your body. You already have L-carnitine. And it is a natural fat burner that helps um, actually bring those fat cells into the something called the mitochondria, which is where they're then going to be burned as fat. I supplement with L-carnitine. And there is also um, OxyShred, which is a fat burner, and this has L-carnitine in it. So with the L-carnitine, 
Um, I really, really like this product because it's a natural supplement um, and you can just use this one by itself if you like. However, with the OxyShred, this one actually has caffeine in it um, and a bunch of other fat burning properties as well. So have a look into that. But I feel like when I really feel like pumping out like a mad weight session, I will use this um, and Kyle, my partner, also uses this. He really likes it. So let me grab it. One is Nutribolix and it's called Stim X. So that one is a stimulant and it can make you um, like a little bit jittery, a little bit itchy. Uh, so you need to make sure that you're definitely going to the gym with that one because everyone responds differently to different, um, all the different ingredients in there. There is a lot. Um, so that's something to really take into consideration if you're going to take a stimulant. So with all of these supplements, I get all of mine from Elite Supps. So they stock so many different brands. So all these ones that you see here, like My Skyvation, The Nutribolics, EHP Labs, ATP Science, Body Science, they're all on the one website. I'll put their website and link below. Um, I've also got a code for them, which is super handy because they're already um, so, so cheap. Like, um, And the last but not least that I wanted to go through for today is... This one's a Metagenics uh, Calm X, but this all this is is a magnesium. Magnesium is really, really important. It's really important for your recovery, uh, for your gut, for your muscles, um, if you're someone who gets cramps. It is just, it's one that I would probably say um, that I could recommend that everybody takes. Take it before bed. So it does also help you sleep um, and helps that recovery process overnight. So like I just showed you, the one that I take is Metagenics. Um, and this brand is one that I absolutely love. And that's more on the gut health naturopathy type side because you get Metagenics um, products from a naturopath. Anyway, so I hope you have found this video somewhat helpful. Um, I will do a part two. Any questions about training, nutrition, supplements, travel, anything like that, just pop a comment below. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more. Um, let me know what you guys want to see because I want to be creating this content for you to help you guys. So if you had any questions, pop it below and I'll speak to you next time.